Hello everyone, this is Shruti Mistri and today we are going to walk through triggering an Azure pipeline using REST API and I have created a documentation to make the steps easier. So the, what you should have beforehand is your subscription ID, is your subscription ID, your tenant ID, resource group name, workspace name, pipeline name and all these three credentials will get uh, in through our process. So the first step is uh, to create a service principle. So we will go to our Azure account and Microsoft Entra ID. And app registrations, we will register an app. Keep any name that you want. Synapse. Just API 23. So my app is successfully created. Now the second step is to assign the rule to service principle in Azure Synapse. Now for the demo, I have created a demo pipeline in my Azure Synapse. That is wait, activity and in our Synapse workspace, I'll go in manage, then access control and give access to my service principle. I'll add select rule as a synapse administrator and I'll search the app that I've created so it was synapse test API 123 I'll add that as a user and apply so that's successfully done so these were the uh, steps that were important before we trigger the pipeline and now step 3 is to run the pipeline so I have I'll go to my VS code and have this Python code which takes the client ID client secret tenant ID and the URL should be kept the same for the to access the token and the payload will have a grant type is client credentials client ID is what will put in secret and then scope should be kept as this URL so now to get the client ID and client secret what we have to do is go to our app in certificates and secrets I'll create a new client secret I'll name it as API secret add so that's done and we have to copy the value so this is your client secret that you have to paste here and client ID will my will my client ID from here that is my app ID copy it and paste it here now tenant ID is it will get in the overview as well paste that here so I should get my access token by putting in this credentials I'll run so yeah, I've got the access token. I'll copy it. It's a long one. Copy it. And our first step is successfully done. First running the first py uh, Python file. So let's see what's the next step. Now it's time to trigger the Synapse pipeline. I have the code for it here. So I need the subscription ID and these are the credentials that I mentioned earlier beforehand so I'll paste it so now I put the credentials for my Synapse account and in the access token I'll paste the one that we have got now yeah this one so I've pasted my access token now the important part here is the URL you have to keep it as GPS your workspace name dot dev dot is your synapse.net slash pipelines your pipeline name create run api version preview okay and now if i run it let's see if my pipeline gets triggered as well so yeah i've got a run id refresh it so 
also and my monitor if I see if there was a pipeline run so yeah today 12.48 as you can see the current time the pipeline one was run so with this knowledge you can now automate your data workflows with ease using Synapse powerful API capabilities and thank you